These are so good. Victory! The waterfalls and the hiking here are beautiful. Okay, that was the best decision ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I can't believe I'm in North Carolina right now. Oh my God. to all submit some eggs. I have to. Gotta get that protein. By the way, this this stuff makes your eggs fan freaking tastic. Yeah, what is it, the garlic and herb? Yep, and dash. Yeah. You have to get this. Pro tip. With some Colby Jack shredded cheese. This is a little bit thicker, but I like the thin slices. And every once in a while, I'll chop up some green onion and put it in there. Steamy blue fish. Yum! There's three plains and three blueberries. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Of course. Could it's a Sunday vibe. Morning. Well, happy Sunday, everyone. Today, we're gonna go have a lovely time in exploring some of the nearby towns. Cashiers is like 20 minutes from Lake Glenville and then Highlands is maybe like 30 or 35. They're both super cute. So we're gonna go explore both of those towns and then like pick up some food and go to the farmer's market, explore the shops and get ready for the week. So that's on the agenda for today. But first we're gonna have our lovely Sunday pancake feast because it's just the best way to start a Sunday. It's needed. It is very needed. Okay, so I'm making my grocery list for later. So the trick here for saving money, and this is what I used to do in college, because I would have like a contest with myself of how little can I spend this week. What I do is I go to the weekly ad of whatever grocery store I'm going to. So in college, I always went to Harris Teeter. Here there's a million Ingles and Ingles has a weekly ad. So I basically go through the weekly ad and I just find everything on sale and I put down like the brand that's on sale and I write it on my list. So that way everything I buy is like way on sale. Dylan, what did we save last week? Like 50 bucks on groceries? No, we saved like 100 almost. Yeah, we saved like 100 because number one, it was our first big grocery haul. So we were buying cleaning supplies, spices, oil, all that. And we saved like 100 bucks, which was great. So highly recommend checking out the weekly ad if you want to save money on groceries. Conveniently forgot his wallet. <laughs> Inconveniently, I just did. <laughs> so I'll be treating him today. Oh <laughs> okay, so we're getting the Taco Tuesday Essentials, which is like a spice pack. This holy guacamole seasoning is like the most delicious thing I've ever smelled, so I'm dying to make guac with it. We have that, a Fiesta taco seasoning, carne asada, and chili lime sea salt. I'm excited. So we're collecting ornaments for when Christmas comes around because I'm already excited to decorate a little mini Christmas tree in the trailer. This is the third one I've collected, obviously from Highlands, and it's a little camper. School in the tree. And then I have one from LeConte Lodge and Hilton Head as well. So I'm gonna keep collecting them until Christmas time. Okay, so I think we're finished up here in Highlands. It's also a giant black cloud rolling in, so we're gonna jump in the car and go to Cashiers to escape the rain and go to the farmer's market. I'm very excited about this. So we just had lunch at the Ugly Dog Pub, I think is what it's called. It actually is really good. It's the first time I've been. Yesterday we went to Whiteside Brewery, which 
that is like by far the number one thing I'd recommend going to if you want a beer or food or just a really good vibe to hang out they have live music a lot and they have really fun outdoor activities yesterday we didn't film because we just kind of wanted to have a day off and hang out together but we went to uh, gorgeous state park and went to rainbow falls and turtleback falls it is absolutely gorgeous I highly recommend checking those out when you're here and bringing a bathing suit or wearing a bathing suit because you can slide down the waterfall just obviously be careful but yeah there's a ton of places like that there's sliding rock bust your butt falls so if we have more time this week we will go check those out but now we just arrived at the farmers market we're gonna go get some goodies and um yeah and then head to Ingalls So I just asked Dylan if he would eat peaches, and he goes, if you cut them up for me, then I'll eat the peaches. <laughs> so I guess I'll be cutting up peaches, because these are so good. We'll get like some that are a little bit not ripe, and then some that are ripe. Okay, so here's everything we got. Do a little grocery haul for you. So this is the farmer's market section. We've got some tangerine juice, which I think I started drinking this in, maybe it was Costa Rica. I just love it. These, which we could have got at the normal store, but they were just there. Two avocados, two, I think these are Roma tomatoes. No, I don't know. Two tomatoes, one red pepper, four peaches. They smell so good. And then some cage-free eggs. And then this is the grocery store section. So we've got almond milk and we have almond milk coffee creamer. We've got some all-purpose cleaner. We need that. These like rose potatoes were on sale. Got those, an onion, two zucchinis, some hummus. Uh, this is Dylan, what Dylan, his ham for sandwiches. Of course, we had to get two cheeses because they were BOGO. And then some shrimp, they're frozen, that we're gonna make with this gumbo that Dylan has. That is everything for the week. I and mean, we obviously still have a lot of stuff in here, so it really wasn't a big haul. And then obviously up here is where all of our like non-perishables are. Clearly don't have like a fruit basket yet. So I'm using this colander, but I am gonna get one soon. I want to get one. I had it in the last trailer, but you basically, it's like a fruit sack that you hang up. So when I get one, I think I'm going to hang it like right here-ish. So if you watched last week's video, you know we had a whole internet adventure because the service here it is existent, but it's very spotty. And so we weren't having very much success, you know, getting a ton of work done really fast. So we decided to order a WeBoost for the RV specifically. We have one for the car, like an antenna, but we wanted one for the RV because the car one wasn't reaching in here. So it came in the mail and let me show you. This is my project. It was. It's so going to look better eventually, but we just wanted to get it up so that we can have it working. But basically it comes with a mounting bracket. If you have a ladder on the back, you you can mount it onto the ladder. So all I did was just basically drill, drill some small holes and then got some self-tapping screws that I got from Lowe's, drilled it into the trailer, and then I also got Flex Seal to... Basil. I got Flex Seal to cover the hole so that there's no water that goes in because that would suck. Um, and then all we're doing is just running this cable down. Uh, it's the one that comes with the antenna into it in that same red box that you saw the last time. It's also in there with the uh, transmitter inside and then... As usual, we just have our hotspot um, in the vicinity of it as it gives it the best signal. So now we've had perfect internet the entire time. We've been streaming videos, we've been we're, watching movies. We had a movie marathon this weekend, which is fun. This will eventually run inside because we have cabinets up top. So everything will sit up in the cabinet. That way we don't have to worry about with cables running all over the place and looking like this, but we don't care. We just wanted dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'd honestly say for anyone that works remotely in a rig or in a van or anything like that, a WeBoost, I would go as far to say it's necessary, like I wouldn't even suggest it, I'd be like you need to get it because unless you're kind of in like an urban area, which I don't prefer to camp in urban areas, you never know what the cell service is going to be. So a WeBoost eliminates all of that. This is not sponsored, although WeBoost, for seeing this, I love you. But yeah, the link to it is in my bio if you want to check it out.
So I've decided that today is the day we're gonna go on this little hike that I've been wanting to go on because it apparently leads to this really beautiful waterfall and it's literally, the trailhead is a five minute drive that way. Yeah, I'm like, I can't not do that. And I'm able to do it today on a Monday because number one, it's a pretty light work day for me and it's like, I think 3.30 p.m. So I'm done with my calls. I'm done with like the main things I need to do for my clients. So I can always work on stuff later this evening for my own work, but I just really find it necessary for my mental health to break up the week a little bit even if it's just like an hour excursion or even less than that little things like that to break up the week so I'm not sitting in front of a computer 24 7 so that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna bring you guys along Where is your apron? <laughs> oh! We got two pockets on this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh-huh. Yeah! <laughs> what are we making today, chef? We're making gumbo with shrimp. This thing is literally the best ever. I had jambalaya last week with chicken. It is so easy. Literally, I made the chicken on the side and then put this in a pot with some water and in like 30 minutes, I had food for like two days. <laughs> now I get to try it, but with so, shrimp, because I don't eat meat. With shrimp, yes. I'm so excited. Oh, and we're having Freak Show, which for those of you that appreciate a good red wine, this is a good one for not that much. Yeah, it's actually so good. I'm not a big, I mean, he's gotten me into red wine more now that we've been dating for so long. I used to just be white. This one is a good one, highly recommend, and it has a very fun label. You can open this. Okay. Shrimp started. I'll be on wine duty. Wine duty. Dylan put me on wine duty is that I don't have the life skill that is called effortlessly opening a bottle, opening a bottle of wine. I've done it, but it's not pretty. But we're gonna see how this goes. Cutting, is that good? Oh. First it's the oven, now it's so 
this. I swear I'm not this helpless. I can do lots of things. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it now. Oh, she boiling. All right, step one is a go. Step two. Okay, I definitely, I can totally do this. That would be easier. <laughs> Someday I'll be able to do this. <gasps> Dylan, it's working. Slowly though. I'm slow. Yes! Victory! Guys, I'm so proud of myself. It wasn't effortless though. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, I'm so excited. Now for the pour. I keep looking over there. Hello. Wait, do you want it now? Yeah. Okay. Wine while we cook. Now let the pros do it. But well, like Dylan does it. <laughs> Is that how I do it? It's actually how my dad does it. It's really funny. Tag. That's embarrassing. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I love you. This is so good. Oh my god. Cheers. I'm missing a bowl. We are? Yeah. Oh no, one has the grapes in it in the freezer. Oh. Rose and grapes. Watching Better Call Saul, guys. Highly recommend. Pretty good. This looks fire. You need me any more room on this? Yes, but I need to see the TV. Well, you're crisscross applesauce. You're like taking up like three spots. Crisscross applesaucing. Oh, is she hot. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, it's so hot. This is good though. Okay, so I have two things to say. Number one is I wanted to give a shout out to the campsite where we've been staying the last two weeks. I'm gonna butcher the name, but I think it's Ralph J. Andrews Campground in Lake Glenville. This area is stunning. It's literally right on the lake and it's really affordable. I mean, I was shocked by the price. I think we paid $2.88 for two weeks, which is amazing. The people are super nice. It's gorgeous. It has, you know, full hookups, all the things. And then the second thing is that, um, as always, like and subscribe because this coming weekend, not only do we have a super fun weekend planned going to a bunch of really cool harvest hosts, which if you've been following us for a while, one of our favorite things is to hop around to cool harvest hosts around the country. But there is an unexpected guest that will be in attendance starting in the next video and will be with us for a good amount of time. So I think you guys might be a little excited about this. You're just gonna have to um, wait and see for the next video for uh, who's coming with. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.